Hello, it's White Dove E-Store again. Today we're going to be going over this uh, Jensbens El Diablo uh, 100 amp. Um, not sure how much you know of the amp. Pretty much it's, it's pretty, um, it's a diverse amp. Most of the time it's used in real heavy metal. Um, I like it because it's got so much diversity to it from a vintage clean um, to, a, to just a clean channel uh, to, to warm to hot, uh, attack different attack levels. Um, the reverb. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to go over this. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a foot switch for it. I'm trying to stay out of the light. We do have the original cover that goes on it, uh, that goes over the top of it. This goes down. Maybe I can just put it. And it seems to protect it quite well. This is, this one's in excellent shape. Anyway, this one goes down over the top. So we're going to move this for a minute. Because what we want to do is we want to go over everything in the amp. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through the different, uh, the various channels of the amp. I'm going to flip the vintage clean, uh, high compress. Uh, it just there's so many settings on this. You'll probably spend more time trying to figure out the the best setting you want on it uh, than, than playing it because I know that's what happens with me. So what we're going to do? Let me just unplug. Let me see. I'm just going to unplug this for now, and we're going to go over the entire condition of the the amp itself so I want to show you just the top but let me unplug this first and then we'll plug it back in what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it and then we'll plug it back in again so so that you can see let me just show you the top of the amp um, I'm hoping that the Sun is enough have a Sun coming through the window to kind of give you a a good view of the whole top you can see that it's not it probably could use a little bit of polish but the amp itself is in real real good condition I don't see any rips in the Tolex or anything like that um, so this is the top let me just show you the front the face of it since we're we're here with the sunlight so you see this the the face is really not scratched up too much at all I don't really see any even any damage around the edges of the Tolex We're trying to really be anal, an, uh, excuse me, anal about this because we want you to see everything in the amp that you could possibly see. We want you to have a really um, good picture of how the amp plays, what it sounds like, everything. Um, so that's what we're really trying to do with this now is we're just trying to show you um, the condition, the true condition of the amp. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this on pause so I can flip this amp over and just be careful so that I can show you the the bottom of the amp where the feet are. Okay, so here's the bottom of the amp. Uh, what I do want to point out is you see all these screws that coming in through the bottom and the feet, the Tolex, all of this is in excellent shape, but what I did notice is that right here on this side and this side the screws were left out so those aren't there I'm sure you can probably pick up some at uh, they look like black wood screws uh, you can probably pick them up at Home Depot and put them right in but I just want to make sure that we're showing you everything um, so this is the Tolex on the back of the, the bottom part of the amp and so now what I'm gonna do is put you on pause I'm gonna show you both sides so this is the left side of the amp you can see that even the Tolex and everything is really an excellent shape here no tears in it whatsoever um, now I'm gonna flip it over and show you the um, the right so this is the right side right here uh, this this one um, and I guess what as you can see that there the Tolex is the Tolex is in excellent shape um, other than being a little dusty it looks like um, let me think so I showed you that. Let me just flip it to the back now. Maybe I should um, put this back up on the cabinet so the sun hits it good. So this is the back of the amp. As you can see, it does have a foot switch cable. Again, we don't have the foot switch. Um, it has a different, a couple different effects loops lined uh, direct out, speaker jacks, and then it's also flip. You can flip it from 16 ohms to eight to four, depending on what cabinet you're using. Um, and then it has a power mode to 50 watt and a 100 watt mode. I don't know if you can, let me just, on the back. So this is, um, 
It's a very, 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 very diversified amp. Um, I'm trying to think, I guess, let me just do this one thing. See if I can zoom in on a serial number so that you can see it. So I don't know if you can see that well. Not, the serial number is 033761T. It's e and that's a zero, I think, or an O. So again, it's 033761T O or zero. Okay, so I'm gonna put you on pause, flip it back around. We're gonna start this amp up and see what it sounds like. Before I forget, I do wanna show you one thing. Um, depending on the two type, you can also change this. Let me see if I can zoom in on this so that you can catch it. And it doesn't look like it's gonna show it. Um, what I'm trying to show you is you can put EL34s or 6L6 tubes in it. And it has a two bias switch right here. And that's what I was attempting to try to show you, but it doesn't look like it's gonna, the camera's gonna zoom through the screen too well. So let me just put you on pause again and flip this around and hook it up so we can plug. Okay, so now here we are. I have it hooked up. What I'm gonna try to do is just stay out of the way. We're gonna play this, um, have this Parker Fly Deluxe. We're just gonna kinda mess around with some of the channels, um, some of the sounds. This has a piezo in it, so it, it just, it's a real clean sound. We're gonna mess with the vintage. Um, just, all, just all the different settings on this, and I'm hoping that I can catch it on the camera. So let's flip this on. Um, the first thing you're probably gonna notice is the LEDs, the blues in it. Uh, maybe I could zoom right in on that for you and show you. So you notice that it's all glowing blue. And then the, the old tubes, you can see them glowing in there too. I like that old tube look. So here we are, that's it. Let me just flip you back around and let's get to, um, get, get to uh, the fun stuff. So I'm gonna zoom you right in on this amp so that you can see it. I'm gonna to try to get this camera as close as I can to just the amp itself because when I start going through the settings, I want you to be able to, I want. I would like you to be able to not only see them, but hear them too. So, let's see. Maybe just a little bit wider. Okay. Okay, so let's go. So, we'll put this on. So this is the piezo, this is just the clean sound right here. Just showing you that the reverb works. Um, I'm gonna turn that back a little bit and we're gonna go to the vintage clean sound. So this is this whole 
side here with a vintage and a clean, uh, just a regular vintage clean and just a regular clean. So uh, I'll leave this, leave this down and I'm going to flip the channel over to this side. And first I'm going to turn all this down because I really don't know where it's at right now. Um, game. Okay, so going hot. This is a master valve. Here's the reverb here. because these are all over these uh, the tone the tone knobs are all over the place so okay so you have let me turn these down this is just a regular hot channel without anything added to it so here's the bass here's the trip the mids let me turn this up a little bit Appreciate your time, and I hope I showed you everything you needed to see about it. Thank you.